Hey guys and welcome back to the Nmap practical guide. In this video we are going to dig a little bit deeper into what Nmap is and what all we are going to further cover in the upcoming video series. So why Nmap is actually a first word around ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting. Whenever you go to any kind of hackcon or defcon or any other hacking conferences you might have already come up with this word well Try using Nmap to scan or reconnaissance the network, perform reconnaissance on the network. Well, what is actually Nmap? You can think of Nmap as a kind of a scanner that actually scans an entire network. It takes an input network as an input and <laughs> it will also take some other parameters. But just don't for just forget that. It takes a range of network or even the network address as an input and then it will try to scan for vulnerabilities or open ports in the network if there is any vulnerability on these ports then it will give you a warning alongside the vulnerability which we can use to exploit so what that's what pretty much nmap does nmap stands for network mapper and it is used to map the entire network you can not only use it to find vulnerabilities, but you can also use it to find live hosts to perform your attack on. So that's what pretty much Nmap is. Uh, and you might have heard that Nmap is a port scanner. Well, it's actually true because Nmap scans these ports on a host and find the services running on these ports and then identifies whether there is any vulnerability that you can exploit on these ports. Well, it is of great importance of you to understand what ports are before we move further. So what are ports? You can kind of uh, imagine ports as virtual points where the services or hosts run. You can, uh, for example, if you start your Firefox, well, this Firefox will be assigned a port on your, serv uh, on your host because it's a service. Any service that runs on your computer or your PC will be assigned a port number. That's how it identifies itself with the host. You can kind of identify this as an address of a service. Um, there are some well-known ports like 80 stands for HTTP, 22 stands for SSH, 443 is for HTTPS, 3389 is remote desktop protocol. That's how you connect remotely. So, these are some well-known ports, but an administrator can change the port number in order to, you know, hide their services, even though Nmap will still eventually find them. In a device, there are, there are a total of 65,536 ports, and any service running on these ports can take any value in between these. Uh, range that is 0 to 65535 and nmap basically scans through all these ports and gives you more information regarding it or if there is any vulnerability present then it will show you the vulnerability as well so yeah you know that i have i, I already created a course known as ethical hacking and it's still running and i kind of decided to start this nmap practical guide in tandem with the ethical hacking course so make sure that you also watch through my series as well, ethical hacking series as well. And since I have done all my ethical hacking stuff on Pilot operating system and even in Kala Linux because they both are kind of similar. So I'll be dealing, the, dealing you with the installation of Nmap on these operating systems only. Well, the only stuff you gotta remember is that Kala Linux and Pilot operating system comes pre-installed with Nmap. But in some cases if you have any broken dependencies or nmap is not working well then you can open up the terminal and then write the command in the terminal which i'm going to show you now which is sudo apt-get install nmap this will actually install nmap onto your device i mean your operating system now in the next video series we are going to learn how to use nmap properly and since we know that there's a uh, there's a, there are a variety of ways you can use nmap but i have divided the usage into these subtopics and each topic will be covered in one video the topics are first is target specification then host discovery then port scanning then service version and os detection 
then performance which is actually uh, uh, regarding the timing how to increase your speed then this is very important which is nmap scripting engine this is used to automate some stuff and perform some scripts run some scripts on your nmap then firewall evasion this firewall evasion is not not 100% working but at least you can try then it's actually important to save your results into a file so i have created a topic on saving results into a file as well and then finally after we have covered all this topic i'll be taking a quiz to test your knowledge so be there for my next video